Family are considered the most vulnerable population to COVID-19 and they continue to be threatened by the virus. The Imperial Valley, at least three nursing homes are experiencing COVID outbreaks. Alexandra Rangel joins us from Imperial County with more from the health department. Dozens of staff and residents at three nursing homes in the valley are battling the virus. Valley Convalescent has uh, 12 residents who are positive. The Imperial County Public Health Department says they helped these homes develop plans early on in the pandemic to help minimize the impact of the virus. But unfortunately, the virus has made its way into these local nursing homes. According to the Health Department, Imperial Heights in Raleigh has 16 residents and 10 staff who tested positive. Imperial Manor in Imperial has no residents with the virus, but 28 staff are positive. And Valley Convalescent has 12 residents and 19 staff members that have tested positive. We knew that these were high-risk patients and high-risk facilities. We early on identified them as such and uh, um, provided extra help. Stephen Solis, our, our uh, nursing manager, uh, has been uh, essentially fully uh, involved in assisting the skilled nursing facilities uh, and other high-risk settings in our community um, for over a month. Although the county health department is helping nursing homes combat the virus, the county says responsibility falls on the nursing homes to implement all mitigation guidelines required by the state health department. The California health department has also sent an infection prevention expert to the Valley to help local nursing homes implement mitigation plans for COVID-19. The county health department also confirmed outbreaks at local state prisons and the county jail. Santanella State Prison has 12 inmates and 14 staff that are positive. Calipatra State Prison has one inmate and 31 staff that are positive. And the Imperial County Jail has 28 inmates and 22 staff within the jail and sheriff's department that have tested positive. The Imperial County Public Health Department says they are doing all they can to provide regular testing to all residents and staff at our local nursing homes, prisons, and county jail. Reporting in Imperial County, Alexandra Rangel.